Howdy who and welcome to Nebs Gaming today. We are looking into industrializing all our goodies. And what are we industrializing? Well, we are using industrial foregoing to get our logs, to get our pink slime, to get our super drill, to get our food, to get everything that we need because I used it in the last season. It's fantastic. We're going to make one episode on it, build the farms that we need to require and then move on instead of going through it like we did last episode. If you want to watch me, watch me in season one. Woo! Right. Self plug. Right. Moving on. We are going to, well, I've already built this, so we've got a bit of wind power. I use, always use the mechanism power because it is the best, especially with the free energy of the windmills. Again, in the industrial foregoing, if we are take a quick lick, lick, quick look here, you can see industrial kinetic energy. I'll use that in a build probably later on to see how it is because I've never used it before and I want to get into it. That should be fun to talk and walk and talk through. But this is my simple little plastic maker. As you can tell, it's got a lot of things happening, a lot of things going on, and it looks like it's used all the logs. So what we do is we place some logs in here. Bosh, that goes into the block placer. Like so, I panicked then because it wasn't going in. Uh, next, that then go, we utilize these tree fluid extractors, which extracts latexes. Luckily, we can feed it into another latexer and it'll push it back out. As you can see here, where no, as you can see in this one, there you go, see, pushes it out to the latex processing unit, the latex processing unit, then it turns that latex using use a pump. I could should have used the uh, original pump for this mod, but I completely got it wrong. I used a fluid extractor, which turns everything into cobblestone. You still with me because I'm talking quite a lot. Anyway, back on. Um, that then goes into where are we? Yeah, so that then turns it into little rubber pellets. The rubber pellets go into I can't get up. The rubber pellets then go into this chest here, which then gets fed into uh, this here, which is the auto crafter from the build craft factory. That then gets powered, increase in power and speed with the redstone pump. Don't really need it on there. I need to go to bed. Right, finish that. So once that's done there, that then gets turned into actual dry rubber. That dry rubber then gets pumped into this chest here, which then goes out of here into this resourceful furnace. That then turns the dry rubber into plastic. There's one going in there, and then that turns it into all the plastics that we require for making... Trust me to click on one that doesn't require plastic, but that... There you go. Um, like the block breaker, block placer. Nope. All the plastics anyway that we need for all the different mobs. Whew. Right, first things first, I need some food, so I need some wheat. So I'm going to grow, no, trees, trees, that's what I want to grow, trees. I need lots of wood, lots of wood for chests and other builds, fun builds, all the builds. Right then, you beautiful people, I have uh, done the first bit of the, well, industrial foregoing district. We've got our tree farm on the go here, getting all our lovely, lovely little trees. As you can see, they're growing up. We've got our wheat field here for breeding the cows. We've got our Minecraft vanilla stuff in there. That's that piece. In here, we've got a multitude of barley, um, water chestnuts, thistles. For some reason, it's not. No way. Why is it? Why is it when I start recording... I end up getting a creeper decided to come along and blow everything up after all my hard work. Hmm? 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 I hate creepers in this game. I hate creepers. I hate creepers. Anyway. Let's go and have a... Let's collect all this. We'll repair this hole later. Frustrating. Uh, we'll repair that in a sec. Uh, we'll carry on going along here. In this area, I've got some onions growing for some onion burgers. Some corn growing, some more barley there, different type of barley. We've got some bell peppers growing at the back over here. Get rid of you. Uh, we've got some chili peppers here, some mustard seeds there, and some strawberries. Ah, that's that bit done. All right, I'm going to do some repairs and start on making the sludge refiner. All right, here we have our now. If you remember, we get sludge from everything that gets cut from all these trees. It piles up in there sorry for the noise about that but i've just made this little box room here why because you remember if we use the sludge refiner we actually get some decent items out of it so all the sand all the gravel all the dirt that we need for making even the clays here that we can utilize for bricks so i've utilized that for that bit next i'm going to move on to the animals maybe do a sludge refiner i haven't decided yet but this area is going to be for animals and then we'll move on to the actual well, we'll move on to, where is it? Getting our pink slime. 
Well, we've got the cows set up and we've got the pig set up for our pork and for our beef and for our leather from the cows. That's all going to get converted into what we call in the business some fluid essence. Uh, that'll get utilised for something. Oh, I think I've actually made the wrong thing. Hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, it's a mob crusher. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah, that's what. That is right. We wanted the essence from there because the other one produces liquid meat, and we don't want any liquid meat at this time because we're not doing. Well, we're not. We can create these, which provide us. Where are we? These. We stick these in our uh, actual body, and we don't. It feeds us basically, so we don't need to worry about it. So maybe I will sort that out with chickens. But we'll see what we get from this. In the meantime, I've already got a filter in here. We check. There we go. You can see here that I've got an adult filter there, so it'll only kill the adults. It won't kill the babies. Fine, dabby dozy. Do I do chickens? Hmm. I'm gonna look into doing the chicken side of life, just so we can get some pink slime. Well, we did it. We got the farm done. Well, the farming area should be almost completed now. If we have a look around, we've obviously got cows and everything. Again, I've added a fluid pipe here in order to collect all the lovely little essence, fluid essence that it's collecting. Uh, I've also made the chicken farm area here, so it's now producing a lot of chickens for us. Uh, we can actually stand here and collect the XP. And then I've got two areas here. One's for um, the pink fluid, the pink fluid slime. And this one is the liquid meat that we're using the mob slaughter factory for that. So I actually went and built that up. I also built the sheep shearing plaza, as we're calling it. I'm collecting loads of wool there, which we can utilize in future builds. If we carry on going around, I've got this little building here where we can enter in and actually access our pink slime area. But also, I'm going to have like villager trading walls. Um, um, so we can come in and actually trade with the villager traders using utilizing this villager trade exchanger and i think that is it oh yeah i also built this the infinity drill hence why we needed the pink slime ingots that was heavy build there but i finally done it and if we head over to our main area down the little runway again i do love my little backpack on looks quite cute oh my god look how dangerous i look like staring down the eye of the mine down here we're going to go all the way through to this area here where we've created our biofuel generator and our bioreactor which is collecting a load of tree saplings. If we uh, click that in here now, does it? No. There we go. We can actually start powering this generator all the way up and it will use a hell of a lot. We can utilize it. We can whack it. Um, I believe we can actually put it in here as well. Oh, have I just glitched it out? One sec. It doesn't like that, does it? Right, let's try and put this back in. Usually, or do I have to put it in this one? There we go. We can actually fill this with biofuel as well, uh, as a power source for it. But, we're not going to do that. We're going to leave it straight into this bad boy right here. Collect all the power. Let that charge up. I might actually move, because if we go back to our coastal town now, over here, I might actually move this over to that area so we can actually collect all our goodies now, because our mine is almost finished. I've got a few more, where are we, in this building here. Lots of stone, lots of stone. I've got, a f why is it, oh wow, it's even come across some underground trees. Um, but this is all this is all collected now. Lots of ores, lots of ores from the area. Uh, we still have about 5,000 blocks to mine, so I'm going to sort all that out. But I can stand there and do that. But in the meantime, I'm going to place this over here in our farm area. Let this lovely little chunk loader load all the... Do you know what? If we do that, square. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. If we transform into our blaze... Let's have an actual look at the area it can cover. So this is now covering everywhere. So we could even extend going back here into this trees. Have this as a focal point and maybe in each direction have a different farm or different farms or mods going off in either direction. Uh, I tried to utilize this if we come over here. I tried to utilize 
this plant gatherer to gather these, but it's for some reason it doesn't like it. It does not like it one bit. Uh, so I'm going to have to do this manually or install some pistons. But that is it. That is it for this episode. I am going to let that charge up overnight. I've been Nebs Gaming. You've been amazing. Make sure you like and subscribe if you are enjoying this series. Because next episode we will be moving on to some brewing. And getting the bar up and running. Toodaloo. And I'll see all you wonderful people in a few. Goodbye.